Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the floor. I guess we're in the middle of the room, not at the bench. This is too big for the bench. We're going to be testing this Fortress Ultra Quiet Series one gallon air compressor uh, for use for our airbrushes. And this is from Harbor Freight, also available on Amazon. Uh, came highly recommend, recommended by several of you guys, and um, I wanted to try it out. It's gotten great reviews, so we'll try it out for ourselves. I bought everything I needed to uh, hook up properly on my end for airbrushing, uh, just like the uh, other video I did for uh, tool air compressors. We're going to do the same here. I'll show you all the uh, attachments I bought and uh, how we're going to hook this up. And uh, if all goes well, I think this is going to be my standard air compressor. Uh, you can see right there my uh, Tootie by... Uh, from Spray Gunner, I've used that, uh, boy, for the better part of the last year or so, and uh, it's fa it's fantastic. That is a great air compressor, um, also with a tank. I recommend, if you guys are going to do airbrushing all the time, I recommend having uh, a tank attached to your, even if you buy the smaller and the cheaper yeah, air compressors. But, um, yeah, we're going at this fresh. I'm, I'm going to go with the, uh, see how this thing is w the same time as you guys. We're going to do it in real time. Haven't hooked it up yet. Haven't opened it up yet. Um, so, uh, let's go ahead and crack this open and I'm going to show you the tools that I got for it. Uh, I should say the attachments. I got this hose. It's a swivel end. This is going to go from the compressor. Hold on. We're going to attach it to this. That, the quick release, the nipple that goes in to the air compressor. So I bought this, I bought this, and then... That's going to lead to this, a digital air pressure gauge. So when we have to go to 20 or 30, we'll just dial it in. It's going to be a digital reading. And then out the top, I got this Iwata hose, which the other end, one end, is actually the standard fitting size for a regular air compressor. So... I'm going to put that directly on there. Now, I could have used my old hose from uh, my other air compressor, the 2D there, and uh, but then I would have had to go through a, another fitting, you know, a male, female, all that stuff with all the the uh, tape you need. Uh, I'm reaching back here by tape. I mean, you know, threading tape. And I, I figured the, the smallest amount of attachments between the compressor and the, air the airbrush, the better. So I got this hose. It's not too cheap, but this is a super great high quality hose i had one earlier and um in my move to my new home i'm not sure what happened to it but this is it's got a great fittings in there uh, washers but anyway that's going to go down top of here and then we're going to lead to the airbrush here and before we reach the airbrush now you notice there's no uh moisture trap on that i got a this iwata moisture trap uh, i have one for my uh my eclipse my friend currently has my eclipse and uh, I'm letting him use it for a while. He needs an airbrush before he can get his own. And that came with that one. So I got another one of these that works really good. And I have another one actually coming today. It's probably here now. I should run upstairs and see from Amazon. So I'm going to try the, the two of them. But this is going to be attached permanently to the end of this hose. And then through here, we're going to put my quick release. So every airbrush will always have the water trap, the moisture trap. And that's what we're going to do. That's uh, that's the breakdown. I'm going to test the quiet, how quiet this really is. We're going to go uh, and turn on my old one and this one, and we're going to see how quiet it actually is. Our early tests prove to be uh, it's pretty quiet. But let's go ahead and cut this open. I'm trying to do this on the on camera. Get some tape there. And my recently purchased cobalt box cutter this thing is great not to go into that many details but great box cutter just bought a big box of blades because as you guys know paint and whatnot is constantly coming into the to the old room here there we go so i needed a box cutter do not ever use your hobby knife for opening your packages get get the box cutter i showed you or one like it and save your blades it's not worth dulling them out uh, two or three boxes come in from Amazon. You guys got a dull blade and you got to replace it. All right, let's see what we got here. Let me see. I'm going to move this in, guys. 
Maybe we'll lift up this tripod that this camera is on. There we go. There we go. How's that? All right. Let's to the shelf. All right. Here we go. The two gallon and the one. I figured the two was a little overkill for me. I'm not going to use this in the garage or anything. Um, there's one out there already. I don't need one for the garage. But uh, the one gallon is perfect, and I have a good spot where it will fit in. Let's pull this out of the way. All right, let's see what we got here, guys. Try not to block too much on camera. Oh, boy, we're going to have to... All right, let's get this going here. Let's go. There we go. Now, we can bring her back down. There we go. Sorry, guys, all in real time. Real time, yeah. A real unboxing, right? I don't do many unboxings, but... Wow, nice looking unit there. It is heavy. Heavyweight. However, quite the looker. It looks great. Let's go down a little further with this. Let's go in a little bit here. There we go. All right. Now we... Oh, let's get these off. You only have to read one of these gauges, and that's the uh, outlet. Your tank pressure and your outlet pressure. You only control the outlet. This is just telling you, I guess, once the tank is full, I'm guessing, guys. And uh, oh, here's a water drain or, or a tank drain. Here is our plug. Nicely. It holds it on nice. Look at that. Good, good length, too. And I believe this is the power switch. Yep. Great power switch. You can't miss that. Big throw there. And the little instructions are included on here. Close. It shows that to keep it closed. Obviously, this is the close. Hose, obviously. Plug in. Yeah, we got it. So, that's it. It's telling you it's 80% quieter. Twice longer life. 50% lighter. 28% more air tool runtime. That's, uh, that's like keeping your advertising on there all the time. Half horsepower. It's pretty powerful for these smaller ones. And uh, 135 PSI, but you don't need that at all, obviously. 20 to 30 for us on the high end. My badges only call for 15. But, uh, all right, let's go ahead and plug this in. One second, guys. I'm going to pause the camera. I'm going to plug her in. All right, the quiet test is upon us. It is plugged in. Let's see what we get. Wow, that is quiet. That's a uh, checking. Here's the release valve for the tank back here, right here. I will show that at the end when we empty the tank out. I guess it's building its pressure, and then it's gonna lock itself in. I'm guessing, and then we're gonna adjust where we want this. Now, because I'm gonna have my own pressure gauge, um, I will set this eh, right in the middle. I'll set it at like 30, maybe 50. But we don't need it that high. Let me see if I can show you the back here. It's probably my desk that's vibrating. We're going to keep this on the floor. My floor has a rug. So it's going to be pretty quiet. Nice rubber cushions here. Braided hose. Really nice build here. Dual piston. Is that, is that what I'm seeing? Dual piston. Yep. I think it's my desk vibrating. So if we hold it up, we can hear how quiet. Nope. Oh, it's something here. Oh, it reached anyway. All right. Well, it reached its temp, its pressure. That's it. So we are in at 120 for the output. Is this the output? Yep, outlet. Oh, there it goes. All right. Yeah, we want to go minimal. We'll leave it at 30. Even close is good. Does this push in like the other one? Oh, it doesn't. Nope. It just stays like that. All right. Well, pretty quiet. And uh, it reached, what was that, a minute? It reached full uh, tank pressure, which is, looks like it's about 130. And uh, wow, not bad. Not bad at all. The release valve is right here. When You want you always want to empty your tank every night when you're done. It, it, it eases the pressure built up on the, the tanks here and uh, lets it um, extend its life. You can actually turn it off now if you want to because that's going to last quite a while. You know, 
Anyway, all right, let's uh, break open some of my attachments here and let's put in the hose and um, let's test it out for airbrushing. But first, let's turn on my uh, my other one, my 2D hair, and uh, let's compare the uh, sound level. Let me pause the camera one second, guys, and bring up the old 2D. All right, guys, it is plugged in and the hose on the end of my no name brand here, my spray gun at Tootie is a uh, quick release, so it'll build up its pressure. Here we go. So there you go. There's a difference. Uh, a little quieter. You know, it's much smaller, not dual piston, but uh, it's got more of a whisper sound to it. But uh, again, what is this one at 58 decibels? It's pretty quiet. So this isn't bad. It reaches temp right away because this one will stop. Um, close to what your pressure that you want it set for and uh, this one I didn't have set until I reached it up anyway there you go there's your sound difference and this one has the moisture trap built in down here I still might add one here but for now we're gonna go with the one on the handle which I believe is all we really need for now anyway guys let me uh, get this out of the way and let's hook this up all right, guys, here we go. All set up in the corner where I want it. I'll probably tuck it in a little deeper, you know, once the review is done. Um, let me go ahead and show you. I'm going to apologize now for shaky cam, but we're going to undo this camera from here. All right. There is the swivel hose. It might be too heavy. I might change that, but at least it's got a swivel so I can move it anywhere I want. All right. We still have it where it's supposed to be. I have it turned off. So there it is, that's how loud it is, loud, on the uh, on the rug, really quiet on the rug. So this is going to lead us to here. What I did was, here's, the, here's my uh, Pace spray booth, let's pan out a little bit there, alright, cut that off, alright, here we go. I took this board, drilled a hole in it, and I got these twisty ties. I'll be trimming those after the video. And there's the digital air pressure gauge. There's the hose. And I'm going to hang the hose above me when I spray, leading to this. And there is the water trap I put on. And the quick release will be on it. So all my hose, all my airbrushes have a quick release. So from there, what we're going to do is we're just going to change out the uh, airbrush. This is the little valve that you push in to release the water. Um, Maybe twice in a year I pushed that and had something come out, so not a big problem here where I live up here in New England. Anyway, uh, let me show you the digital gauge here. It doesn't light up, so I'm going to try and do my best here to show you guys. Hold on. See, you turn her on. There it is. You can see it. It's at 23. I turned it down. I'll leave it at about 20. And then you got to let it sit for it to find its way, so to speak. 19. Yeah, 20 and a half is what I had it set for. And that's it. All right. Let me uh, hook up this uh, camera into my overhead holder here. Don't do this at home, guys. This is tricky stuff. There we go. That's why I didn't want to do it live because give you guys a headache. Man, give me a headache. Anyway, here we go. And that's it. Let's see. Working good. Uh, not much to... You know what? We'll just put some acetone in it. How's that? Let me get my acetone jar here. Alright, here we go, guys. The big test. Let's see how this thing... And that's it. Now, I think I can leave this thing off. My buddy who has one leaves it off, and he can do a whole model. Half a day of spraying, he tells me, because using such a small amount, you know. And this right now is set at 20 PSI. And we're looking good. So, uh, yeah, it's wonderful. Uh, boy, I have nothing. Let's see how loud it is up here when, when we're talking. So that, it'll come on like that uh, while, uh, if I'm on camera, doing some stuff for you guys. But uh, 
that's if I forget it. I think being uh, such a big tank now, what I'm going to do is, um, oh, there it goes. What I'm going to do is, uh, I'm just going to fill it up before we shoot the video, and then uh, there'll be silence, you know, from here on in, you know. Uh, hold on. Let's try a little more again. And, um, yeah, we'll go with that. I like it. I like the way I can now adjust the uh, air pressure being right on the, uh, right here on the uh, air booth, the spray booth. And uh, being digital is pretty nice, too. I got to get everything, you know, strung out exactly how I want it. Um, this is pretty comfortable. Now, if this is going to be on all of my airbrushes, see how you can hold it? Now, this is the top of the line. This is as high as it got. This is the Iwata. Um, you know, the Iwata brand is not cheap on some of their stuff. But I have one coming in the mail. Um, you know what? I'm going to pause the camera. I'm going to see if it's on my doorstep now so I can show you the other one. Hold on, guys. How's this, guys? Is that timing? I knew <laughs> I knew this thing arrived. <laughs> Let's cut this open. How's this? In real time. Just like we're opening uh, the air compressor. All right, there it is. Not as fancy a package as the Iwata. You know, generic packaging, but listen, this thing is seven bucks. This one's like twenty bucks. So you can get these for fifteen, and maybe this is seven. This one's like half price, but uh, look at it. It's got the filter in it. Let's compare them. Hold on. Yeah, I can't see the filter. It must be further up inside. Here we go. Yeah. Not bad. I mean, I'll run it through the test. Uh, I have one of these older ones. Um, I used it all last year. Uh, I give it to a friend. I have so many airbrushes, and when a friend asks for something, I, I just give it to him. So I think that's where it ended up. But it's uh, it's fine. It should be fine. Hold on. Let's try it out. All right, guys. Oop, we are hitting the camera here. Before we wrap this up, I want to try the one that just came in. Here it is. I hooked it up to the other air compressor so we can have them both showing here. And, uh, it, well, it it seems to, you know, it gets the job done. It's almost the same. A lot of air is leaking out of it. When I turned it on, it was this little valve. I had to finagle this thing, and and then it stopped and filled up. So, uh, yeah, I guess it's working. Yeah, I mean, seven or eight bucks, what do, you, what do you want? This was like 15 to 25 depending on where you get it. I'll put a link for both below. Um, it'll get the job done, but like I said, it leaked there for a while. I should have did it on camera, but uh, see it? It's stuck open, and you got to pull it out to get it to go. Maybe a drop of oil in there. I mean, it's not hindering it at all. You know, you can see it's still working. So do the same thing. You put your quick release on the end, but either way, this is how I'm going, but I'm going to be going with, uh, let me get this out of the way. I'm going to be going with the Iwata instead. It just it's just engineered way better you get what you pay for and uh, and that's it all right guys that is the wrap-up um, let's put the camera back on the compressor and we'll wrap this up so yeah there you go uh, I will leave it there I'm gonna push it more in the corner you know it hasn't come on at all and um, I just drained it out I should have did that on camera but it's annoying you pull the drain out you gotta drain it each night make sure you do that um, before you move on to the next day. It'll extend the life of the compressor. It's a great, great unit. I paid 130 I think they're on sale now at Harbor Freight. They're also on Amazon. They cost more, but if you guys need to order it online from Harbor Freight, it's not going to be cheap to ship. So I'm guessing it might be negligible. Even if you have a, maybe you have a gift card or something on Amazon, you get it that way. I think with prime shipping, you're gonna, it's going to equal out to be the same. It's my guess. Totally worth the 130 the 150 whatever these things were selling for. Absolutely worth it. Uh, my Tootie from uh, No Name from Spray Gunner was uh, 120 to 130 and that's really worth it. That That's a great air compressor. I'm going to be running both. and um, So I, I, I no problem with each. I'll put links below for both. But uh, this will actually, you know, this will inflate your tires on your car. It'll do everything and you can carry it around. So as a more of an overall, all-around compressor for the house, including the hobby, this is the way to go. Now, don't forget, go with your, uh, let's see if I can show you. 
the digital gauge that was at Harbor Freight also. But I'll, there's there's another one my buddy uses on Amazon. I'll put a link to both of them. I'll do that for you guys there too. Put this back down here, and uh, yeah, it, it's a, it's a terrific air compressor. We'll get the job done. You do a setup like I do with quick releases on the end. I'll put the links for all that stuff, and uh, you'll be going uh, switching back and forth. You won't even have to run this thing much at all. Turn it on in the morning, and you're probably good to go for the day as far as as far as airbrushing goes. Uh, anyway, that is the review. A phenomenal piece of equipment. I do like it. A uh, long-term test. We'll have to see. Obviously, uh, we do this a lot, so I will be using it a lot. You guys know that. And, um, yeah, that's it. It's a big thumbs up for me. I'm going to show you guys a couple of items here uh, that I am working on for the channel. And I also want to tell you guys something. Hold on one second. I'm going to tell you guys something. Uh, I'll be starting a Patreon. That's right, a Patreon where uh, I'm going to be showing you stuff I'm not doing on the channel. In particular, I'm going to be taking requests. Let me move the camera and I'll wrap up the video. All right, guys, here we are at the booth with a little bit of showing off. Um, look at these Humbrol Metal Coat spray paints. I got a couple of them. This here is, uh, what do we have here? There it is, polished aluminum. Look at that. Isn't that great? Now, I tested some of the other ones uh, in the lineup earlier, like a year ago, and uh, I didn't like them. But this sprays on great, and I have a gold or a copper, uh, maybe one other one. I'm going to test that. I think that's, that's a really, really good-looking spray paint for that type of uh, color. Uh, these just came in. These are my uh, order of uh, Green Stuff World. These are color shifts. So, I mean, here's an, here's an example. Look at that, Red Goblin. So I got some colors that are a little bit different. Look at that. From uh, the other ones I've been testing. That's why I went and I got a lot of reds, which I don't have many of. And uh, these mystic gold. See that? So I try to get colors. I, I, I'm not, there's uh, kind of lacking in my um, color shift world. Darth blue. So this test is coming up. Seeing that on a color shift kick. I'm going to be doing this test really soon. They're acrylics. There's no smell to them. They go on really good like the uh, Vallejo's does. Look at that. So that's coming up. I wanted to show you guys that. And I sprayed this piece of this from the Zaku kit. All right. That's coming up. Here are the uh, Sunin. Sunin. Sunin 7. Can you see it? Hold on. Sunin 7. Right? I think these are kind of uh, Gaia Notes clones. They're not quite as good. They they spray on odd, and they look odd, but they end up drying fantastic. And uh, this is just a sample of what's coming up. This is their uh, iron Star Bright Iron. Can you tell they're, tr they're going after uh, Gaia? <laughs> the exact same name. Well, check it out. I mean, the end result is good. And here's another one. I have a whole bunch, so I'm only showing you a couple. This one is metallic red. That's all it says, just metallic red. But it comes out rather pinkish. But look at that. So these are coming up also. i got a whole slew of those to test. And they have an acrylic line too. Um, I have to order some of those. Um, here are the, Here's the 2K I've been testing. That's the activator. That's a can. It's filled right up to here. This is about 45 50 bucks. But it's enough to last me a lifetime if I can keep it from drying out. This is pretty old, and it looks like the day I got it. So so this is a 2K test. I will do that on camera, too. I'm trying to get a uh, Miami blue. is an actual Porsche color. And there it is. That's over gray and white. But that's with the 2K over it. And this stuff is because it's made for cars. It's made to take rocks kicking in on it. And it's really mega durable. I sprayed it over everything. Everything in here, I sprayed this clear over. Uh, SMS copper. Look at that gloss shine. It just it dries to a beautiful self-leveling SMS brass. I sprayed it over. I sprayed it over a chrome. So we will be going over that. Here's the chrome. This is remember the finishers I did the formula. I sprayed it over that, and that's what we got. So if you're worried about the chrome peeling off, you lose a little bit of the chrome look, but you're going to get mad durability. So. That's coming up too, my 2K gloss coat video. Look at that, just beautiful. Oh man, this is enough clear to last a lifetime. I also have it in flat. 
I have Matt, uh, another can of Matt. And uh, you guys are wondering, it's a urethane, but I do use, this is the respirator that I use, this Rhino. And uh, it fits great, it fits me great. Um, but you can adjust it, it goes over the back of the head. That's it. And these are replaceable, these cotton filter pads. I haven't had to replace them yet. Uh, it's not like we're spraying a car with this airbrush stuff. It's not. It's a little much lesser toxic than spraying a car in a big spray booth. But that this is uh, it's cheap. This is in the twenty dollar range and it, it works great. It came re highly recommended. I'll put a link for that below too for you guys. And uh, that's it. I got a bunch of stuff coming, and um, everything is going very smooth. But I'm really excited to say about my Patreon. I'm going to be launching within the week. Uh, I'll put up a video just for that, and uh, what the feature of it is, I'm not going to have tiers. What I'm going to do is, you're just going to join at one level price, and I'll be taking requests. And by request, I mean a lot of people ask, can you, uh, what does this color look like if I spray it over blue? That's what they asked. I'll get that question. I will, if I have the paint, and if I don't, I'll actually go out and get it. I will get this paint, I will get this blue that you requested, and I'll put it over on a quick video and post that video on Patreon. So I will take requests and make that request a video just for the person asking, you know. And uh, I'll do at least a few a week. And um, I couldn't think of anything special to do behind the scenes. Ah, eh, I kind of let you guys see what's going on back here. I, know I could do behind the scenes stuff. But I figured taking requests, which is what I get a lot of. You guys ask, will this work over this? Does this, how does this look if I added this? I will do that for you. I will do it for you personally on video on the Patreon. And um, I think that's a great idea, and I think you guys will uh, enjoy that. And uh, That way I can in answer you guys directly with little mini videos, and, uh, and you will actually will get your results in real time. That's the idea behind the Patreon. Anyway, guys, that is the video for today. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, it helps a lot. Leave a comment below if you guys have any uh, advice and if you guys own that Fortress air compressor. It's so far, I hooked it up just today with you guys. I like it a lot. It, it looks like a wonderful piece of equipment. So uh, it's going to be getting a lot of use here, obviously. And um, that's it. That is all for today. I will do up another video over the weekend. I'm going to also be doing a... Uh, a scriber test. I got all those scriber blades. I'm going to do that. I'm going to put them all down and show you the sizes and we'll put some panel lining liquid into the uh, into those and we'll see and we'll go and compare the sizes and how, how good they are. And uh, that is all. That is it guys for today. Go out and grab the fortress. I'll put links to everything in the comments below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. When we hit 50,000 subscribers, boom! A lot of giveaways are going to kick in. Uh, and I'm talking a compressor with an airbrush, all kinds of kits, master grades. It's uh, going to be a good time. So we're heading towards 50,000. We're almost there. We're in the 400, 400 more subscriber range. And uh, if you guys can uh, pass the word on to the channel, that would be great. Anyway, guys, got to put my hands so you guys see something going on here. How about some nice paints and colors here? How's that? Look at that. That's a beautiful color. Anyway, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. I'll see you over the weekend. Please stay cool. We're in a heat wave where I am. It's been 90 degrees all week. And it's going to be 90 through next Monday. And uh, So please stay cool. Don't get overheated. Check on your dogs. I have the dog. Make sure they have plenty of water. Um, I love my dog, and uh, we, we take great care of them. And so make sure your pets are okay. Anyway, guys, have a wonderful rest of your week. We'll see you over the weekend. Have a great day.